here we are. Next video, we're gonna start the basic design. First thing I always do is get you always use a polyline. A lot of people start starting the curves, but what I do is I immediately start thinking of it as a paper model, and paper doesn't curve well. It doesn't do compound curves. So what I'll do is I'll use this polyline, and this will kind of tell me where I can put my dividing for the parts. I remember that fuselage, if you look like here, you can't really see it here. If you look like here, you can see that weird kind of straight up shape. The way I'm going to capture that is when I, it's by doing the cockpit as a separate part. So I'm actually going to bring this piece here all the way back to here. And here we can do a straight line. And we we'll start our curve into the tail. Oops, no, we don't. Kind of gentle taper to the tail. There's the end of the plane. Then what you do, since you drag a line down to make between to the bottom of the fuselage, and connect set lines. See, here's where you find out, all right, I need a second part, another part here. So you can do that and draw it up to there. That tells me that. And in this case, you can see about here is where this part is going to end because we start a gentle up curve. Actually, I'm going to do this for here to this too. just kind of tells you how to break up the model parts to get and to most effectively capture the shape of the, fu of the fuselage. So right there that tells me where my break lines or part lines are going to be. I kind of look at the fuselage Fortunately, being an airliner, it's basically round, but I never use a circle because they're never perfectly round. So I'll start with an ellipse and go into the start that and go into the top view all the way out to the edge of the line. Do that for this way too. And this one you actually go to go to the front view. Since they're basically the same. And you don't want them to actually touch because they, that makes them snap. And if you look in the if you look over here, you can see it's making it angle. So just get it as close as you can. This, see here, I'm going to do go 
go to the top view. And here you just kind of want to get it as close to the line as you can. Actually, there's a panel line that goes right here, like this. A lot of times what I'll do, I think I can do it in this one. See, I can do it in this one. Sometimes having a straight edge doesn't work. See, this is this is how the design process goes. You, you experiment, you come up with ideas, and you work with them. In this case, what I want to do is you explode this. in a minute. Do your part. Case you want to make sure intersection is on. You click that, takes you to the intersection, and then you go straight across, select, split, and select that, and that gives you that. And what you want to do is that now gives you a part line that matches that panel line. Join them back together, and you can delete this and not have to worry about it. I don't like how that straight that is, and since I've got a break here, I can put that there. I said this is a lot of what designing is. You say, and eh, let's try it this way. I don't like that. Let's do this. Okay, and for the very end of the fuselage, you turn your snap on, put a point. Alright, now we're going to work our way back. I'll probably I think I saw a panel line in here somewhere. I see there's a panel line here. So I'll put, I can put a, usually what I'll do, so see it's basically just a tube here. I'll just copy. look at the top view you can see what it's doing and back to here oh, snap. 